That is why when you sit in the midst of people, you'll be wondering why your child is rude. You call it rudeness. It's not rudeness. Your child just feels that, yes, there are many people there, but my father is there. So what does he do? He walks there straight and says, Dad! And that does it. To him, he's not interrupting anything. He's only expressing himself. Say, and he did it because he wanted to affirm that that's my father. He belongs to me. And go and listen to them talking to their age and say, that's my car. That's my car. <laughs> that's my car. Or they want to bring their friends to the house. And they have already introduced to their friends in my house. Do you understand? In my house. So, when they bring their own friends, they have already told their friends that it is their house. That the television and everything is under their control. So, when their friends come in, they are selecting the kind of program they want to put on the telly. Then you come here and say, what, what, are, what, are you, what are you doing there? Get out! Get out! I don't need that kind of program here. Get out! Ah! Your teenage boy says, mm. so it's not my house after all. He doesn't know how to explain that to his friend. So in his mind, he's beginning to plan how to have an exclusiveness. That's why you see them insisting, give me my own room. Have you ever seen any of your children, when they have a room, the first labor he will put in front of his room, out of bounds? <laughs> Do you know what the child is dealing with? He said, well, since I cannot sit in the parlor, somebody will come and say, get out there, get out there. Now, this is my own palace. Out of band. Or they say, knock before you enter. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, we are talking about how to be a father. A father needs to recognize That the children need identity. And the first identity they want to have is you. Praise the Lord. As our Father in heaven does not forget that we are but dust. So our failures do not surprise him to the point of utter disappointment. In the same way we must make room in our hearts for our children's Faults, father must be slow to express utter disappointment about their children, either in word or in action. Are you hearing me? Don't be too quick to say, I am very, very disappointed in you. That's not right. Don't be too quick to say, I think you are a disgrace to this family. Mm -mm. Don't be quick to compare a child with another child. Every child is unique and it must be given a space in your consideration as a father. Please be slow to express disappointment about your child. You should rather wait and pray for them in love. Rejection is almost the first option of many fathers. When a child is not doing well enough, but this is not the art of fathering, we learn from God who is the father of us all. You know, we refer to Colossians 3.20 now let's refer to Colossians 3, 21. This time. I have quoted them in some few versions that I'm not sure you will have. 
So let me read them. Parents, don't come down too hard on your children. Or you will do what? You will crush their spirits. Don't make your children resentful. This is international standard version. Lest they become discouraged. How did King James put verse 21? Don't provoke your children so that they will not be discouraged. Now, as I'm reading the word of God, I say, God, why do you say it like that? Is that children can be discouraged. Are you hearing me? Children can be discouraged in their little efforts to become right. Sometimes because you have criticized this child over and over again, over a particular mistake, the child has come to believe that you don't believe that he can change. So all the effort he wants to make to improve, he finds himself unable to make it again because he's already discouraged. I know my father will not believe me. And so several children have become totally wayward because they have been given an impression that they can never make it. Fathers, that's not our God, our Father. That's not how He treats us. Many of you, you will know that each time you get to God, even though He convicts you of sin, even though he shows you what is wrong in your life, you will notice that God never convicts a man without showing him grace for repentance. Am I right? Every time you come under conviction, if it is conviction from the Holy Spirit, it always shows the way of deliverance. But when it is the devil, it only shows you your doom. And tells you that your own is finished. As a father, the tendency for us to irritate or to fret our children is very high. So Amplified Bible says, don't provoke or irritate or fret your children. Don't be hard on them or harass them. You know, as I read that, I said, what does it mean for a father? To do what? To harass. Can somebody please explain? What does it mean? How can a father harass his own child? When does he become harassment? Yes, when does he become harassment? Quickly. Picking hole in every step a child takes. When you pick hole in every step he takes. Yes. When does it become an harassment? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because uh, harassment, when you don't give them room or chance to reply or express themselves or right. talk back to you. Right. All right. You never think that it can be an harassment because you say, I'm your father. I'm talking. When I'm talking, you don't talk. She said, yes, sir. But I asked her, what do you have to say? There's nothing good in your mouth. Go and sit down. As he was going to sit down, is that how to go and sit down? He said, but I thought you said I should go and sit down. Keep quiet! Get away from here, my sight. And then when the boy is going, he said, Are you going? This has been Living Seed. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036 0703 Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website 
at www.livingseed.org. Make it a date with us next week.